they don't like to. <coughs> what are you going to do? You going to put them in there and do what? Cut these clean tails out somewhere. Be very gentle with it, or you. I turned it off by accident. You did. You can stop filming again. I did. <laughs> goes the honey. Yeah, you want to taste it? Here. Mm -hmm. See, now you got a suit Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was about to put my, I was about to put my tongue right there. Okay. I'll do this. You don't get it, they'll get it fast. Okay, let me see that clean cell. Now, oh, look, I just. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have to wait. Take this off. Now. That's all I need to do. They should, they should come over to that and start taking care of that. You see how they're acting? Mm -hmm. they're, they're not acting that bad. Now I want to set them down again and kind of see what they do. I got a bee right in front of my eye. over to it. Normally they will. Oh, they're being shy today. 
Normally they would just run right over to it. Now I think they're starting to. Seems like they're moving there. Kind of. Uh-huh. They know where they smell it. He looks like he's stuck. Oh, get out of my face now. Yeah, I joke with him around. So the smoke calms them? Disrupts their communication skills. Uh, okay. I'm trying to see if there's any about the hatch. How can you tell? As you can see, they'll start chewing it out on the end. Is this one overdosed? What do you mean? Is he still alive? Oh yeah, she's eating. Oh, okay. She's worried about nothing but eating. They got a funny like I'm that. I like they overdose on honey. Oh, they will, yeah. Now you see that white? Well, no, I'm just, I'm killing dead, ba or baby bees accidentally. Oopsie. But that's just... Part of it. Yeah. To save us. Must be a fishing line going through this one. Got to cut it here. Yeah, this one's really getting close to how dark looking it is on the when they're real fresh they're really really white kind of like that white see how those caps oh, okay. are I mean, don't know. just like you're done yeah just don't touch the cell exactly if you crush that cell any to form any of the, the uh, cell around it could kill it all right now i'm gonna put them back <laughs> But I'm gonna give that cell right there. Just with some box. Just with some honey. With some bees. Because when she flies out, after she hatches out, flies out, baits and comes back, she brings a bunch of bees back with her. What's in this little cell? A queen. Is she alive? Oh yeah. She's a baby. Oh, okay. So once she hatches, it'll take her about three to five days to fly out, mate, and it could take her a few days to come back. And if she makes it back, she brings a bunch of bees. She brings a bunch of bees and fills that box <coughs> with her. That's crazy. They're alive for five days and then they mate. Mm -hmm. And they come back. And they never leave the hive unless they swarm. Unless they're going to make a new house again or something happens in that box all right so this one is where i want to put that one this really doesn't have much honey in it though let me put that right here all right i really need a claim with honey i'll probably take it from another house <laughs> Is this one over here checking this one out because it doesn't live here? It's like she's fighting him. It could be happening. Yeah, yeah if they're fighting, then yeah, that's what they're doing. Defending the house. Now this, this one over here has food in the top of it.
I don't. They are ruthless, aren't they? Uh, they are ruthless, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get this one in the corner first here. Right there. See if I can see that. Now where did I put that knife? So when I cut this, I'm only cutting on the pull stroke. Only. I don't know how you, have you cut any out? Yeah. So. Just so I don't flex that, uh, that cell any. It's a little tight under there. See if I can grab it from this side. Just trying to get a good hold of it. Oh. It's holding on by something here. It did is uh, on one side. Is it stuck to the outside too? Mm -hmm. But I just got it. Did you hear it snap? Uh -huh. There's one, bro. All right, there's one of them. I think it's warm enough. They'll be okay. And what I did on mine, I just try and keep it in that same position. I just cut a little corner out in the bottom and stuck it right in there. Or take your thumb and press a hole into the honey all the way through. Just make a hole and just slide the plug right in. It's perfect. Now let's get another one here. Here's an, oh no, that's not another one. They kind of move out of the way from the heat on your hand. Did you know that? Those other two on the bottom, I don't think I'm gonna be able to cut those without tearing them up. So I'll leave them. This one, I can probably get that one right there. And all of these are looking like they're really getting close. They're starting to get dark now. How's Robert doing with his? I mean, I ain't even talking to Robert in a while. Uh, last thing he messaged me is, why can't I get my queens to stay? I said, I don't know. Um, I've already told him he needs to do mite treatments, man. It's very important. Yeah. That's, I think that's really what the problem is, really. Uh, mainly... I mean, I'm no expert, but that's what I think from what B-Man and um, David at Barnyard Bees talks about. You know, that's that's really the main thing. Even uh, Joe May uh, talks about that a lot, um, mite treatment. If you think you can do it, you think you can keep bees without treating some kind of way, whether it's brood breaks or or um, the sugar shake or strips or vaporizer. I'm gonna leave that just a little crack just so they can get some kind of. Okay. 
I don't think so. Okay. I'll have him hold it. No, I had bees in there yesterday in the one I took. In the, in the one I took down there, and it hurt nothing, is it? Not unless he opens it up in the car. She's fine. She's drinking milk. Yeah. She ain't worried about that. Yeah, I think all you need to do is give them a frame of honey with some bees on it. Yeah. And, dude, that's all they need. They don't need any more than that. I've, I've still got four of those, uh, bees. those bees that uh, we got from Arlington that are mean, how are those doing? Uh, those, those left. Oh, they left? That was one of the ones I told you left. Oh, really? Yeah. They have found it, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. They didn't stay there very long at all. They're doing real good. And, you know, I was going to trade it out with one of those, I think the second cells you gave me when they hatched. Mm-hmm. But they started leaving, and that's when all my queens left. Dude, that's, that's something. That's Cut this queen cell out from one of my hives my backyard and i brought it out to one of my mating nukes in uh la pan texas so hopefully it takes and uh they're already starting to come to it so that's a good sign uh, we'll see how it goes hopefully she'll get out mate and come back make it back to this box Definitely enjoying. Just wanted to film this too. The uh bees are starting to hit the dry pollen again so I just gave them some new new pollen in there they're loving it started hitting it again today. All right. 